Despite for the most part being a bright and colorful world of fantastical creatures and exaggerated locations, the anime, games, and cards of which drawing in children as a large portion of the general audience, the Pokemon world is no stranger to rather dark and disturbing concepts and themes. As a dedicated fan of all aspects of the Pokemon franchise in my younger years, I decided to do what this channel apparently does best, talk about the darkest corners of the lore for fun. Given my prior love for Pokemon, this may be a recurring subject on the channel every so often, so subscribe for more if you end up enjoying this first episode. With that being said, today we're discussing Drifloon, a balloon-like Pokemon that has a strikingly disturbing role in the world. Drifloon is a dual-type Pokémon between Ghost and Flying-type, and was first introduced in the fourth generation of Pokémon. You might already be familiar with it, but if you're not, here's its appearance and some general physical descriptors that can be applied to it. Drifloon is a Pokémon with a spherical, purple body. It has two stringy arms that have yellow, heart-shaped hands on the ends of them. At the base of its body is a frayed protrusion that resembles the tied end of a balloon. In the middle of its face is a yellow, tape-like X mark, which contains its little mouth in the very center. Located on either side of the X are its small, black eyes. However, its appearance isn't at all what makes this Pokémon disturbing, although in the right setting and lighting, it could certainly look unnerving. The dark parts of this Pokémon lie in its lore, specifically the parts that have earned it the nickname of Signpost for Wandering Spirits. See, this Pokémon being a ghost type is connected to the supernatural and spiritual realm, as most Pokémon of this type are associated with it in some way, and to understand how exactly Drifloon is connected to it, we must turn to the various different Pokédex entries centered around it, spanning across the different regions and generations that it appears in. Here are some entries from Generation 4. A Pokémon formed by the spirits of people and Pokémon. It loves damp, humid seasons. It tugs on the hands of children to steal them away. However, it gets pulled around instead. Because of the way it floats aimlessly, an old folktale calls it Signpost for Wandering Spirits. It is whispered that any child who mistakes Drifloon for a balloon and holds onto it could wind up missing. Instantly, we begin to see why I've selected this Pokemon as a disturbing one. The idea of a living creature being formed by the disembodied spirits of other people and Pokemon is a hard concept to wrap around one's head. Some questions that immediately come to mind pertain to the nature of its consciousness. Is that too constructed of souls, or is Drifloon a separate entity that merely ferries them? The fact that it tugs on the hands of children is rather ominous, as it implies malicious intent. However, the next line of, it gets tugged around instead, does make it sound less dangerous and gives the unnerving but sort of cute image of children obliviously carrying around a collection of souls and spirits encapsulated within a balloon looking thing. However, the last entry shows that things can go wrong for the children, as it is whispered that children holding it can wind up missing, a legend that probably is based on events that have actually occurred before. The third entry also reveals why it has been bestowed the nickname of Signpost for Wandering Spirits. The next couple of generations reinforce the idea that children vanish around Drifloon and that multiple legends have cropped up around it. Because these legends are such a thing, it seems that multiple children have vanished due to these Pokémon, and it also presents the idea that they are actively seeking out children to carry away. In the Generation 7 Pokédex entries, some more important information about Drifloon is revealed. Stories go that it grabs the hands of small children and drags them away to the afterlife. It dislikes heavy children. If for some reason its body bursts, its soul spills out with a screaming sound. Its round body is stuffed with souls and expands each time it leads someone away. Wandering souls gather together to form this Pokémon. When trying to make friends with children, Drifloon grabs them by the hand. The fact that it dislikes heavy children I think displays that it is adverse to being held by something that it is incapable of carrying away. Also, given that it gets bigger whenever it carries someone away, I think it's safe to assume that whatever children do end up vanishing due to Drifloon floating them away gets their soul trapped within it along with what other other souls are already within it. Furthermore, the screaming sound that resounds if it happens to burst implies a level of discomfort or even pain in the spirits that are trapped within it. Either that, or it's just a harrowing noise that symbolizes the release of the spirits. Again, it is unclear the level of sentience that souls inside the Drifloon possess. Obviously, the more cognitive they are, the darker this concept becomes. The last bunch of Pokedex entries that reveal potentially unique information come from Generation 8. 
Perhaps seeking company, it approaches children. However, it often quickly runs away again when the children play too roughly with it. Said to lure away young children and carry them off to the afterlife. Some whisper that Drifloon are formed of reincarnated human souls, but these rumors are as yet unconfirmed. The gathering of many souls gave rise to this Pokemon. During humid seasons, they seem to appear in abundance. We see another condition Drifloon has for carrying children. Just as it doesn't like heavy children, it also does not prefer children that play roughly. I think this displays that it really is only after easy prey. If a kid is going to be too heavy or too rowdy to easily carry off, chances are it's not going to go after them. The next two entries deal with the legend surrounding its origin, namely that it was created through a gathering of human souls and reincarnated into Drifloon. One entry claims that the rumors are unconfirmed, while the other states it as though it is a fact. These entries only mention human souls, but earlier it was established that Drifloon can contain the spirits of Pokemon as well. A lot of these entries build up Drifloon to be a somewhat menacing and sinister force. However, in a few different episodes from the anime, Drifloon can be seen behaving in a friendly and even helpful manner. So there does seem to be a certain distinction between wild and captured slash trained Drifloon and certain levels of varying personality between Drifloon in general. Furthermore, as evidenced in the show and the games, Drifloon are capable of being caught by a Pokeball, which makes their entire existence even murkier, as we are now dealing with an independent living agent comprised of multiple spirits that once belonged to living people and Pokemon, contained by a Pokeball and obeying the commands of a currently alive human trainer. So, from the lore we can derive from the Pokedex entries across the different generations, as well as smaller contexts from the show and games, here's the overview of Drifloon's story. At some point in history, due to an unknown event, a large collection of souls from humans and Pokemon essentially coalesced together and formed the drifting spirit that came to be known as the Pokemon Drifloon, who is simultaneously its own independent agent and composed of the spirits of others. It becomes a sort of capsule that contains these spirits and becomes attracted to gathering more, preying on small children that they are able to carry away into the afterlife and add their soul to its collection. It expands slightly with every new soul it collects, and should it ever pop, souls scream as they are all released at once. Despite the very spiritual nature of the Pokemon, it is still capable of being caught and trained by human Pokemon trainers. However, a lot of Pokemon can evolve into new forms, and Drifloon's next stage is known as Drifbloom. In all reality, this is essentially just a larger version of Drifloon, and while Pokemon generally evolve through gaining experience, I do wonder if Drifloon can evolve if they collect enough souls or something like that. According to the various Pokedex entries on Drifblim, its function is incredibly similar to Drifloon. However, it seems to have no control over where it flies if there's even a little bit of air disturbance, even whilst carrying people or Pokemon. They have been seen to travel in large numbers, but can sometimes appear to vanish whenever they're seen. What's interesting is that some of the entries specifically say that they are filled with souls burdened with regret. They also talk about how it uses these souls as gas in order for it to float and fly, and pair this with the entry mentioning how they can deflate. I wonder if whenever it deflates represents a soul within it moving on into the true afterlife, especially given the fact that these Pokemon are mostly comprised of regretful souls in particular. Maybe they take a sort of purgatory-like residence within Driftbloom until they can move on from the negative emotions that bind them. I say this because most of the entries concerning Drifbloom are worded a lot less predatory than the descriptions of Drifloon, and this Pokemon seems to be more of a deliverer, a mean for souls to be ferried in a way that's hard to conceptualize, in contrast to the constant direction towards legends of child kidnapping and potential soul extraction that surround Drifloon. Overall, Drifloon and Drifbloom are merely two examples of the darker corners of the Pokemon world and the subsequent lore that surrounds it. There's no shortage to the true disturbing nature of the Pokemon universe, so if you enjoyed this video, comment what other darker aspects of the Pokemon world you'd like to see me cover in a future video. If you want more dark lore abstracted by a cartoonish nature, check out my video on the music video called My Ordinary Life, and my huge theory video on Petscop. As for now, the unknown persists, so the investigations continue.